reporting for Katie Chats here in Toronto, Ontario with cinematographer Daniel Grant. What inspired you to become a cinematographer? Uh, oh, gee. Um, I guess uh, when I was in high school, I developed an interest in still photography. Mm -hmm. And so it really kind of started as that. And I, you know, built a, like a dark room in my basement. And, and at the same time, I was starting to get really interested in film. So the two things kind of seemed to mesh together pretty well. I realized that there was this job called a cinematographer, a director of photography, and then for some reason I just got it in my head that that was what I wanted to do. How was it transitioning from still photography to not still photography? <laughs> uh, well, I think that um, there's a lot of things that are... Um, there's a lot of crossover in that, those kind of skill sets, at least if you're interested in cinematography. So for me, like, and I also was never really a very good photographer, so <laughs> it kind of like, uh, for me it was, it was pretty natural. And it, I mean, at the end of the day, it's kind of like, the biggest part is probably just that in film, you're really collaborating with people all the time, and that's, that's the key part of the art form, where photography is always solo. So that was one of the things that really, you know, I like, just working with other artists. So for me, that was, you know, that was uh, kind of the big transitioning point. What was the best part about working on the feature film, Mr. Viral? Um, gee, <laughs> what was the best part? I mean, with that one, it, again, it was really working with the people, like Alex Boothby, the director, is he's one of the most, um, enthusiastic people that I know and so you get a lot of inspiration from that and I worked with you know a lot of a lot of us on set were friends um, and you know we were there kind of doing it because you know we wanted to be there we wanted to be part of like an exciting project so yeah it was really yeah just about working with people even the actors there was a great camaraderie on set um, because everyone it was a film because it's a you know, it was an independent film without a really big budget. Like, you know, it was, um, everyone's wearing a lot of hats. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you really get to know people and um, you hate each other for a while yeah. and then <laughs> eventually you love each other again once the movie's done. <laughs> From a cinematography perspective, what was it like working on the 3D feature Dead Before Dawn? What, how does that change your job? Uh, it changes the job a lot because it's from a technical, well, for both a technical perspective and a, and a creative perspective, it's, you know, 3D, it can be very limiting because of the size of the equipment you're working with. The camera is, you know, you're working with two cameras on a 3D rig and it's, it's kind of like making a movie in the 1940s because you have this massive camera on a massive dolly and, and you can't, you, there's not a lot of freedom. Um, but you also add this whole other layer, you know, to your work. And so if you embrace that, then it opens up so many creative opportunities. Mm -hmm. So it's, it was a very different way of, of, it's almost was like we had to relearn the way that we frame shots, the way that we staged action in the frame, because, um, yeah, it was kind of a whole different ball game. So it was really exciting for that. What advice would you give to an aspiring cinematographer? I think the advice that I would give is, which was advice that I got actually when I first started out, was when you first start out, you know, don't worry about the money, just do as many interesting projects that come along, and often the interesting projects are the ones that don't have money, <laughs> and um, you know, if you, if you just if you just, uh, you know, choose the projects based on the people that are doing it, then that's going to take you really far because those are the projects that do get, get noticed and then those people, you know, you all kind of grow together. And, um, you know, I still feel like I'm at that point where I just really just want to concentrate on doing interesting projects because if I, if I chose my projects based on how much money they had, I probably would be shooting like um, reality TV, <laughs> to be honest. So I wouldn't get you that far. And where's the best place to find out more information on you and on your projects online? 
Um, I guess, I don't know, IMDB, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really have a website because I've never really bothered to put one together. So, um, yeah, that's... Cool. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations on all of your success and best of luck with your upcoming project. Thank you very much. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats here in Toronto, Ontario.